Do you have the file and packages ready? Okay, so now let's run the code on line 17. So I'm, I'm running the first one, table, gender, 139 female, 133 male, right? If you want to see the age, you run describe. Under which package describe comes in? Psych, right? Then table for education, bachelor degree, 215. Maybe I should remove actually all the master's degree to make it more homogeneous sample. One idea because 57 actually not telling much. But I have included it for now. So let's, the next one table for compare hybrid. So here, one, two, three. What, what does this mean? You guys remember? So we have, what, what was the question here? if it's better no 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 if, if the bus is better than the old bus service so one 12 said it is worse than the previous one 104 said doesn't matter same 156 said it's, it's better so that's good for me by the way so here if you want to see if there are some missing variables i am creating another data set okay just to check if i have any i have any missing data then I call it na omit is the command to remove all the missing and the data. And if I run it, you will see any missing is same as data. Right? In the environment, we see that we have the same number of observations, same variables. That means we do not have any missing data. Yes. So we are running this, creating subset. And I'm just defining this mvn command into a new variable. So I'm calling it m normal, multivariate normality. And then when you see it, the good thing is it gives you the result, not normal, okay? It, that is multivariate normality. Then you can see also the Shapiro Wilk for all the items, right? You don't have to report it like this. You just write that all the items were non, not normally distributed, p value less than 0 0.001. That's it. But it would be nice to have a descriptive table. So you can just copy this and put it in Excel uh, or Word. You know, the mean and standard deviation, we don't need this one. You don't have to present all this information. But mean and standard deviation of the items, when you have less than 20 items, put it in the paper. Okay. And with mean and standard deviation, what else we present in the descriptive? We present the correlations, right? So the next comments are for correlation matrix. But for the correlation, what we did, maybe you don't do this, just watch me, okay? So normally, the easiest way to get correlation is core dot my data file name, right? But what do I get when I do this? I get something like this all the correlations among my items right but you see i can make it nicer by just reducing the number of digits i don't need more than two after zero right so let's let's try to do that first so what do we do we call that okay give us round correlation with only two digits okay it's already better, isn't it? Now only do we have two levels, right? But how can we make it better? We This is our diagonal, all the ones, right? Below and above one are the same. So we just remove the one from top. We keep only the ones below. So to do that, we have to use this command called upper triangle. So that's what we're doing. You see this command is same as this command right so let's let me remove this for now so now i'm saving this correlation matrix in something called cmat to represent correlation matrix so i'm saving it as object okay the equal to one is used to save it as an object so i'm doing that and i see it here it's updated but now i'm saying that okay in my correlation matrix make the upper triangle dot dot okay 
just make my upper triangle this one what happens is after you run it if i see if i run it you don't have to do this if i see it in, in, in my in my console you see the upper matrix is dot dot right when i frame the same thing as the data frame it removes the dot dot okay so we just do we just use the same thing but now we define it as a data frame and that's how it is and then we just run the correlation matrix again so now we do not have the dot dot in the upper triangle it's gone and now what i would do to report in a paper i would just copy the whole thing i would copy it open an excel file You don't have to do it now with the Excel file, but you should have the correlation matrix. Have you got? Yeah. 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 Okay, nice. So the Excel part, you just see uh, what we do, but you have to do it when you write a paper, right? Mm -hmm. So normally we will control V, right? And that's how it looks. Copy. Yeah, I just copied and paste. Mm -hmm. And then we go to data we go to text to columns we go to delhi meet it and then we click next how are they separated by space so we click on a space and then finish and it's look like this right but we want to present them in one sequence not on two right so i just copy this part here from the end Actually, the best is if we, yeah, actually, I can just copy from this part. It's okay. And this part, so I copy this. I'm going to cut it, Control X, and I will just put it here. And then I have my correlation matrix. Very nice looking correlation matrix. And I should also copy the names of the variables. And it comes after here right EMP three four five six seven make it nicer maybe we make this one a bit bigger oops and we remove the ones after this right gone what so this is the correlation but if you remember we also report the standard deviation and mean so I will just create two new columns one is for mean one is for a standard deviation you don't have to do this but let me quickly go through this one again so now i don't have to run the whole code again because it was saved already right so i will just run it the solution of the multivariate normality and if you remember on the second part we had the descriptives right i'll just copy it and i will create a new sheet and i put it here Again, I go to data, text to columns, delimited. We use a space, I think. Finish. And then I just copy the values of mean and a standard deviation. And I come back on my correlation matrix and I paste it here. And also reduce the digits here. Now it's ready to go for our journal maybe to make it nice we just write item <laughs> so now yeah it's ready to go in the paper right if you want to do the p-value what would you do you will just add core dot test you remember yesterday we ran this core dot test mm -hmm. and that gives us the p-value but yeah you can you can try it at home okay, okay. Mm -hmm. so now we see that okay our data is not normal and we go for what do we do now but now we already have in our mind that we cannot use maximum likelihood estimation we have to use maximum likelihood robust 